What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. Today's an exciting video for me. This is something that was really fun for me to do. I love equipment, as you guys know. I'm all about the equipment. I'm all about learning about it, seeing how it works. Uh, but we went all gas trucks to all diesel trucks. Now about 18, 19 months ago, I had a 454 Dually, a uh, green one, that was my personal truck. I had a 454 dump truck, that was one of our work trucks. And then I had a 6.0 uh, regular cab long bed pickup truck that was also a gas truck. Uh, the 6.0 was a GMC and the other two were Chevys. So that's what I was rocking. Um, but we got more into the landscaping, more into the excavating side of things, and just hauling the skid loader around a lot more than we were used to. I had had the skid loader for about a year and a half or two years prior to this, and I was always pulling it with the gas trucks, but I wasn't using it every day. I was using it maybe once a week, uh, so it really wasn't that big of a deal, and I didn't think it was tearing anything up uh, more, than, more than anything else would. So uh, we were running like that. But the time came where we were starting to get more and more into landscaping and we just needed to get a diesel truck. So we started the search knowing nothing about diesels. It was kind of hard uh, figuring out what we wanted, what we should be looking for. And we kind of just shot in the dark and we got an 05 uh, extended cab with a flatbed. And it also had a uh, ranch hand bumper on it. I don't know if I have any pictures of what it looked like before, um, but I'm going to go outside right now and I'm going to show you guys our three diesel trucks, kind of walk you through the purchasing process and our thought process going into purchasing these vehicles. Excuse the traffic guys, if you're new, I live on a highway. If you're not new, you're used to this. Uh, got a lot of traffic going by here, so there's going to be some noise. Uh, but right here behind me, you see one, two, then you see the excavator back there. That is why we had to make the switch. So here you have it guys, one, two, and three behind me. We'll start with the first one that we purchased and we'll work our way down the line. So this is a 2005, it's a four wheel drive, Duramax automatic, it's extended cab, and it's got the short wheel base. So this is an eight foot dump bed it's got on it. Uh, we probably could have put a nine, but uh, like I said, whenever we bought this truck, it had a ranch hand bumper on it. It did not have a regular front bumper. And it had a flat bed. It was actually called a hay bed. It had a uh, spear on the back, so you could pick up a big round bale if you're a farmer and you had to pick up a bale and transport it and go feed your cattle or whatever. Um, it had one of those on there. And I think, I don't think that uh, spear would put it on the bed for you. I think it would just kind of prop it up on the back. But anyway. We built this truck, so whenever we got it, we had to get rid of the front bumper that it had on it and get a regular front bumper, um, and I ended up just swapping that on Facebook, so that worked out nicely. And then the bed, I sold the bed right away, um, and thinking that I had a bed lined up for it, and that did not work out. So I sold the flat bed pretty much within the first week or two, and I had to go find a dump bed. And what I ended up doing actually was buying a whole truck. I bought a 1990 Chevy with this eight foot dump bed on it and we took the bed off of it and then sold the truck. I could not find a bed. I was searching, searching, searching and someone had cut this frame back in the day. So a nine foot bed would have worked but we would have had to add onto the frame and it would have added more money to us. Um, so I did pretty much the cheapest thing I could do at that point. I had a lot of issues with this truck right off the bat uh, before I even did the bed. Um, while I was looking for a bed, I had some issues. Uh, had to get a new fuse box, was chasing an electrical issue for a long time. Um, but that's all in other videos that we've done. Uh, you can search back if you see this truck. It's probably something that had to do with an issue. But um, all said and done, we built this whole truck. Like I said, we put the plow on it everything and at the end of the day it's been a really good truck for us it's actually been a horse as of late uh, i'll kind of go a little bit further on that here in a second but this truck has been really good to us i'll show you the inside real quick Next one. nothing special it's got the flip up center console i wish it had the full center console that chevy and gm has that goes up into there doesn't have that, uh, nothing special. It does have power locks, power windows, which is nice. And we've got the Meyer plow hooked up on it, which we did all that good stuff too. But it's been a really, really solid truck all in all for us after the initial issues, which I think the previous owner knew about and screwed me, but I'll talk about that at a different time. Uh, this one here is an 03 
This is a GMC 2500 HD. Duramax, obviously. Four door, power locks, power windows, full center console. This one's a little bit nicer. Um, more of a fully loaded, what you would call it. Uh, but this one, I also purchased used, in real quick mileage, I guess I should probably say that. This one's got like 270,000 miles, something like that. This one's got 240, I think. Uh, so these aren't spring chickens. Um, but this one, I bought, I think, used for 10 grand or so, and I really didn't do anything to it. Um, I put a toolbox on it. As you can see here, weather guard. And I think, what else did I do? I wired the plow up on it and the spreader up on it. I don't think I did anything else to it. This one's been a running gun truck for us. I, I haven't really put too much money into it, knock on wood, and it's been working nonstop. So that's uh, definitely an upgrade from the 6.0 that we had, the gas truck. So that truck will pull the skid loader and the excavator all day long. The suspension is what'll get it way before the power, so really really good truck um, but with it being an 03 and that one being an 05 this one here is an 07.5 or an 08 um, so they're all they're all a little bit different um, but moving into this one the 07.5 this is the truck we just put an engine in if you are a follower you know about that if you're not a follower you can go back a few videos and you'll see we had to take this engine out and put it back in which was fun that's that's a whole nother story again um but this truck again just like the other dump truck that we've got we bought with a ranch hand bumper on it it did not have the regular front bumper and it had a flatbed on it so we bought it did the exact same thing put the bumper on craigslist swap that out straight up no big deal and this um dump bed we actually had our 454 truck got totaled in a really bizarre accident so we had this bed on it we bought the truck back from insurance um so we had this bed around and this is a really nice bed it's a rugby it's a 10 foot bed with a tarp system it's got fold down sides it's got the dual hinged gate electric over hydraulic dump which is what we like i don't like tapping into anything electric over hydraulic is very simple so i know some people that are like afraid of electric over hydraulic which I prefer it so um, anyway moving on so it took us probably about a month to find this truck but we wanted to find something like I said that this bed could fit on so we found the truck and I wanted to try this tunnel box style I've seen a lot of people have that and with it being a regular cab we don't really have any room to put anything else so we wanted to try the tunnel box I bought that on Craigslist and so far it's been great kind of just like the other truck we bought it and right away had some issues I've only owned this truck for like six or seven months ran perfect when I got it ran perfect for the first month and a half and then I started having little weird issues never really got it fixed and back to perfect uh, shape it was always it was always something I don't think I ever really figured out what it was or I think it was the engine going bad or starting to uh, show the issues I still don't know exactly what it was but I think it may have been those pre signs and that's why I could never trace it down and then eventually it just started knocking and that was the end of it so uh, it's been kind of like the other truck like I said it's been uh, kind of a love-hate relationship I loved it when I got it hated it a few months in but now that it's fixed I think it's all good again I hope I hope it's all good again I want it to be all good again I really like this truck it's got a ton of power you can't even compare a 454 gas truck to this thing this thing is a freaking beast but I think we're back to good hands with this thing so that's pretty much my diesels um, how I bought them and why I bought them of course is sitting right there so um, that's my three trucks and uh, like I said they're all they're all a different year I'd like to make it to where they were all that body style and had that LMM engine that way whenever I do have issues I can swap sensors I can switch things switch parts uh, and try to figure out what it is um, I want something that's that's easy that I can maintain I can learn and have all three the same. So I think I'm gonna go with that one just because it's that's newer. down the road. That's just something I'm thinking about, talking out loud again like I always do. I somehow always end up rambling in these videos, but hopefully they make sense. Hopefully it's what you guys wanna see. Those are my three diesels. 
so much better than the gas trucks, guys. But I'm gonna tell you right now, don't make the jump until you need to. They are a lot more money, like everyone says, uh, especially when you're going used like this. I paid a lot more for these than I did for my gas trucks. And my gas trucks had about half the mileage. So when you're moving into diesels, got to have the money. But it's all part of business. So like I said, wait until you need to make the jump. When you need it for power, when you need it for pulling, go get one. But until then, I would wait if I were you. All right, guys, I'm out. That's all we got for this one. I'll see you in the next one.